Hi you guys, it's Alyssa, I am back. So today's reading is messages from your future self. Um, basically, we are going to be looking at your future self from your best timeline and uh, just see what words of encouragement or n little nuggets of wisdom or peeks into what is to come they uh, want to give you guys today. Um, we've got four options to choose from. We have one, two, three, and four. Group number one is this rose quartz. Group two is aventurine. Somebody in a comment in, on one of my other videos said that this was aquamarine. I honestly have no idea. This was uh, given to me by my best friend and that's what he told me it was, so I don't know. <laughs> um, group three is orange calcite. And group number four is this big old chunk of rainbow quartz. Alright guys, so I will give you a moment to um, pick your group. And while you're doing that, I just want to say thank you so much. We have reached 6,000 subscribers. Um, we are quite a bit beyond that now. Um, but I just wanted to thank you guys so much for your continued support. It really means a lot to me. Um, I know I say this all the time, but I find it crazy that so many people um, resonate with my readings and with my energy. Um, and, and I just really appreciate you guys. So, um, also remember that I do private readings. So if you are interested in having a private reading with me done, um, the link to my Etsy store is down below in the description box. So check that out. And all the information that you need to know about uh, getting a reading is in the listings themselves over on Etsy. Um, excuse me, sorry. Um, I also have an FAQ uh, on my Etsy store page, so I do recommend taking a look at that before you buy a reading from me, especially if you've never had a tarot reading done before. Um, please look that over. Uh, I can't think of anything else that I wanted to say. So let's just jump in with group number one, shall we guys? I did, um, I do have uh, piles here, but I don't know yet what the cards actually are. I tried not to look at them. Sometimes they flip over when I'm shuffling them, but for the most part, I did not see what these cards are. So, group one, Rose Quartz. Let's take a look. Your first card is... Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Okay, so um, right away, group one, you guys might be people who have a tendency to kind of hold yourself back um, or kind of sanitize yourselves, if you know what I'm saying, um, because you might be people who um, are generally considered a little bit weird, a little bit quirky. Um, I, I feel like this group is definitely, um, you guys are definitely more on the unique side. Um, and, and I just think that the message that I'm getting here is that you don't need to um, change yourself or present yourself differently so that people will like you um, because you don't owe it to anybody, you know, uh, it's not your job to make other people feel comfortable, okay guys? Um, that's what they're saying. Some people are a little bit put off by you and that's fine. You don't owe it to anybody to, you know, be anything other than what you are, okay? Don't dim to fit in. Um, you guys have... Some of you might feel kind of alone right now at this point in your life because maybe you just don't know uh, of many other people um, that are like you, but your future self wants you to know that you know, there are tons of people like you out there, and you are going to find your family someday. Um, 
trust in that and, and you're not always going to feel so lonely okay guys um and, and when I say you're going to find your family, you're going to find people that that you feel like you belong with, okay? You're, go you're going to find that sense of belonging that you are kind of looking for, I think. Okay, let's see what your other cards are. We have happy, happy, and we have peace reversed. Okay, so um, <laughs> the happy, happy card is pretty um, straightforward. This card really is about, you know, it's about just good energy, good vibes, just, you know, being happy and joyful and having everything that you need. Okay, guys? Um, I think that your future self wants you to know that um, things might not seem like they're going well right now. Okay, um, with the peace card being reversed, you know, this is kind of, it, it kind of has an opposite meaning here, so it's kind of like peace, the opposite of peace. Um, you guys, some of you feel as if nothing is going right, right now, in your lives. Um, some of you feel like things are just kind of chaotic, and you have no control, but... With this card being here as well, they want you to know that things are a little bit crazy right now. However, they're going to get better and it's all going to work out in the end and you are going to find happiness and you will eventually find the peace that y you are, um, you're kind of longing for at this time. Okay, guys? Um, some of you have a lot going on in your lives right now, but it's, it's going to get better, okay? We also have improving health. Um, literally speaking, this card is saying that some of you who, um, who might be ill or struggling with, let's see, if you are physically ill, mentally ill, struggling with any kind of, um, addictions or toxic uh, environments or anything like that this card is saying that those things will improve they will get better you will find yourself becoming healthier in every way every um in every facet of your life you know I think you're going to be um you can look forward to healing physically emotionally spiritually and you can look forward to cutting out you know toxic habits and toxic people from your life all right, guys. Um, and your final card is forgiving and learning. Yeah. Um, so these two cards are kind of going together. You guys, some of you have had really difficult, uh, some of you have just had a, a kind of a rough time of it. And I think a lot of you might be a little bit bitter. Um, you might just wonder, you know, why did it have to be you that these these things happened to? Um, some of you might feel like you just can't catch a break, you know, but your future self is saying that eventually you're going to come to understand why these things are happening, why they have happened, and you're going to figure out, like, These these experiences that you're that you've had and that you're going through right now are actually going to serve you in the future because they're going to make you a much stronger and wiser person that will be able to use their experiences to help other people. Okay, um, and if you have um, if you're struggling to forgive uh, certain individuals right now. Um, this is saying, basically, you are going to eventually be able to release um, any hard feelings that you have towards those people and kind of free yourself of those chains, you know, because when you can't let go of something or when you struggle to let go of something, it's, um, all it really does is, you know, all you're really doing is hurting yourself because, um, 
what's done is done and those feelings and that energy is you know it's not it's not good for you it's not productive it's not going to serve you in any way um and i know it's a lot easier said than done however your future self wants you to know that it is something that you will you will be able to have some you will be able to have some peace of mind you will be you will find distance between whatever painful things are you know haunting you and okay hold on now let me back up you're going to be able to distance yourself from those things you're going to find that distance and it's going to hurt less okay they're saying you know it's 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 like that age old saying time heals time heals all wounds um that is true you know every year that goes by your you know this burden that you're carrying around is going to get lighter and lighter and lighter and it will take a while but eventually someday you will realize that you don't feel burdened by it anymore it's been lifted off of you you've let it go and you're going to realize that kind of suddenly and it might surprise you okay guys let's see is there anything else that wants to come through for group one I feel like I need to pull out some tarot cards. I was going to just keep this reading um, oracle cards only, but I feel like there is more that um, they want you to know, guys. So we've got the sun card. The sun card is a really, really good sign. Um, it's a very good omen. So it's, it's a lot like this card over here. Um, and I just threw some cards in the floor. Sorry, hold on. Let me grab the... Um, so, again, they're just emphasizing this message that things are going to be okay. You are going to find happiness. You are going to find that sense of belonging. You're going to find people that really get you and that you get. And, you know, the Three of Wands is about future planning, okay? Um, if you have big goals for the future... This card is saying that you need to start working towards those goals because the time to the time for waiting is over. Okay? There's no more waiting. They want you to um they want you to get going on whatever projects or plans that you have, you know, for the future. They want you to get started on that. They're saying um don't keep waiting around because the longer you wait, the longer it's going to take. Okay? And um, we also have the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups is about childhood. It's about the past, nostalgia, memories. Um, it's also a soulmate card. So um, this, uh, I think this is saying that, uh, like I was talking about, you know, finding your people, finding your family. Um, I think this is saying that you are going to meet you know, some of your soul family, okay? Um, and, you know, soulmates aren't always going to be romantic partners. They can be, a soulmate can be anybody. Um, but I think you're going to have several in your life in the future that you're going to be very close to and that are going to be, you know, a, a huge part of your life. Like, you know, closer to you than your real family, okay? Um... All right, group one. That's a very encouraging message, you guys. I really like that one. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope that it resonated with you, and I, I hope that um, this gives you some encouragement for the future because it seems to me like things are going to be really good for you guys, okay? Um, so that was a really good start to this reading, guys. Uh, let's see now, um, 
what the others have to say. So, group one, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Um, this was kind of fun. So, uh, let's move on now to group number two, which was Aventurine. Alright, so let's take a look at your first card, which is Mirror. Who or what is triggering you? Okay, so what I'm getting from this card is that I think a lot of you guys that picked this group maybe are um, kind of going through some stuff right now, um, like maybe some karmic stuff or maybe you guys are dealing with twin flames. Um, I feel like you guys are just really on... Um, like, some some major, like, spiritual journeys right now, okay? So, let's see what your other cards are. We've got Treasure Island. So, this card is about abundance. This card is about confidence. Um, so, as far as, you know, a message for the future, this is, like... This is talking about, like, actualization. This is, like... You are on this journey right now to raising your awareness, raising your consciousness, and elevating your consciousness, I should say. That sounds better. Um, they corrected me on that. Um, you're on this path right now, and you're working towards those things, and basically they're saying, like, don't give up on this. It's kind of hard. It kind of sucks sometimes, but please don't give up on it because you are going to you know, you're going to find, you're going to reach the end, maybe not the end of the tunnel, because, you know, does your journey ever really end? Not really. Um, but you're going to make such significant progress in this lifetime, okay, as long as you keep up with it. We also have trust, so um, this is basically you know, what I was just saying, tr just trust that you're on the right path. They really, you guys group too, they really want you to know that you are, you're doing the right thing right now. You're on the right path. You're, you're heading towards something good. Okay. Um, so please don't doubt that. And, um, e if things don't seem like they're going the right way right now, um, please just trust <laughs> that this is all, you know, serving a higher purpose and, you know, the shit that's going on right now is meant to teach you something, okay? It, 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 has a, it has a purpose. It's not just happening for no reason, okay, guys? Um, let's see, we also have Keep an Open Mind, and we have You Deserve Love. Okay. So, um, You Deserve Love, this message is pretty straightforward. Some of you guys might struggle with self-love, self-acceptance. These are things that your future self is saying you need to work on. Um, because the sooner you develop that sense of love and acceptance for yourself, you know, the sooner that you will be able to find this abundance and this confidence and this happiness, okay? Um, we also have keep an open mind. Things are not going to go exactly the way that you are hoping them to or expecting them to, but, you know, please, please, please keep an open mind because... The things that are going to come in for you are going to be even better than than what you're hoping for, okay? The universe really, you know, I say this a lot, but the universe always has your back. Spirit always has your back. Um, nothing happens for no reason. We've got the Queen and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so this is telling me that you guys... Are going to find stability you guys are going to find that safety and security that maybe is lacking in your lives right now um and it's gonna be slow going because this is pentacles energy which doesn't move fast this is this is gonna be something that comes in slowly that you acquire slowly but it will come and once you have it it's not really gonna go anywhere okay because it's stable it's kind of you know, it takes a lot to shake that earth energy. Um, so you guys, things are going to be okay. <laughs> you just 
please just trust in the process, you guys. Some of you are... I really do feel like a lot of you are on Twin Flame journeys or just some kind of like soul journey in general. Um, you guys are really learning a lot in this lifetime. You guys have been put here um, kind of as like a, I'm getting like, I'm hearing the word trial. So I feel like a lot of you guys are pretty uh, old souls and maybe you've reached a point now in this lifetime where it's time for you to kind of level up, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you're doing right now. Um, but they want you to know things are going to be all right. And please remember to take care of yourself. And please don't give, um, don't open yourself up to people who don't appreciate you for who you are. And, and make sure that anyone you welcome into your life is going to love you just as much as spirit loves you, as your future self loves you, okay? Um, because if you do that, you know, that's just going to hold you back. If you, if you allow, um, toxic people into your life, that's just going to hold you back. Okay, guys. And, um, also they're saying to do your best to detach from certain expectations that you have. This is a general reading. I'm not going to, you know, I could guess, I could give some examples of the things that I'm seeing here, but I wanted to keep this reading a little bit short. Um, so if there's like something that you're waiting on or something that you're really, some idea that you're really attached to, they're saying do your best to detach from that um, because that attachment to those expectations or those hopes um, is holding you back. It's kind of blocking your energy. And I've talked about this before in other readings, expectations. Uh, hope for the best, but expect the worst, you know, because um, things very rarely happen exactly the way that we envision them. Um, and for that reason, you know, when we're clinging to certain expectations, I keep saying that word, um, a lot of times it blocks the thing that we want from actually happening. So, you know. Just go with the flow. You know, open yourself to receiving whatever spirit sends your way, okay? And keep an open mind about it. Because it might not be exactly what you were hoping for, but I think it's going to turn out to be even better than whatever that thing is. All right, guys? So, group two. Like I said, I wanted to keep these readings a little short, uh, or on the shorter side. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope that it resonates with you. Feel free to leave me a comment if it does and let me know. Um, this was a little bit of an experiment. I've never really done readings quite like this before. Um, so, but but I'm enjoying it. I think it's it's nice. Um, so I gave. I hope this gives you some encouragement. And um, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. All right, group three. Let's see what your future self has to say to you. You guys got a lot of cards, um, more than any of the other groups. So let's see what you've got. We have deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. So this card talks about healing. This talk card talks about resting and kind of disconnecting a little bit so that you can focus on yourself and do, kind of like do some maintenance on yourself. And that could be physical maintenance. That could be, you know, maybe you're not taking care of your physical body the way you should be. Or that could be emotional maintenance, you know, um, taking a little bit of a break so that you can sort of regroup. And um, it could also be spiritual maintenance, right? Taking time out to, you know, do some meditation and ground yourself and center your energy and get realigned and that kind of thing. Okay, so um, this is what they're saying you should be doing right now. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. You, you guys. Um, yes, so let's see what else we have here. We have Imagine. This card is about manifestation. 
it's kind of like whatever you can imagine you can create okay um, we have exchanging gifts it is in the reverse so this card is kind of like um, it's really about like receiving the gifts of the universe um, it's also sort of this card is also kind of like be careful what you wish for because you just might get it you know what I'm saying? I feel like some of you guys are trying to manifest something into your life, but your future self is saying, hey, be careful. Maybe think twice about that um, because it, it's, it might not go the way that you plan it for it to go. And we also have higher power, which is also in the reverse. Um, let's see. What are you giving your energy to right now? So this card is kind of like, you know, you um, you want to you want to derive your energy from source, okay, from spirit, um, but it, it's with it being reversed, it's like this card is asking you to kind of examine what mind state your mind state. What state of mind you're in right now? What are you giving most of your attention to? Where are you investing your thoughts and your energy? Um, because wherever you invest most of your energy and, you know, whatever you, you, um, whatever occupies your thoughts the most, like, that's kind of where you're getting your energy from. Okay, so if you are focused a lot on you know, how do I want to say this? Okay, they're saying if you're focused a lot on negative shit, then you are going to just d create more negative shit into your life. Um, and if you're focused on, you know, if, if you are coming from a place of love abundance and you're focusing on, you know, um, you're practicing gratitude and that kind of thing, then that's the kind of energy that you're going to create more of right it's it's like it's like manifestation um so they're saying that it seems to me like there's um something that a lot of you guys feel like is lacking in your lives and you're focused a lot on that because you're trying to manifest that you're trying to fill that gap but this card is saying like please 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 think twice about that Oh my god, look. And Choose a New Direction came out. So, um, yeah, it's... <laughs> whatever it is that you guys are really focused on at this time, your future self is saying you need to turn your thoughts elsewhere. Because whatever you're trying to manifest or whatever you're focused on is not going to turn out all that well for you. Um... We also have healing family issues. So this card in general talks about healing. I don't interpret it literally. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be that there's, you know, family issues with, you know, going on or in your past. Um, I just feel like these two things, this is what your future self wants you to be focused on at this time. You know, taking care of yourself, improving yourself, resting, right? It feels like some of you guys kind of run yourselves ragged a little bit. Some of you guys are just like here and there and over here and all over the place. And you need to chill out a little bit and take a step back and kind of examine your priorities, okay? Evaluate, like, what do you really want? You know what I'm saying? What do you really want? to do with your life what um what are your goals what are your long-term plans <laughs> that's what they're saying right now um so there's definitely you guys i'm sorry to say but your future self wants you to shift your focus elsewhere from whatever it is you're thinking about right now whatever it is is that's on your mind that you're trying to manifest into your life they want you to shift your focus elsewhere because whatever you whatever thing that you are fixated on at this time it's like 
your future self doesn't see anything good coming from it. And I guess they would know, right? Um, so let's see if any other cards want to come out for you guys. I have pulled a couple tarot cards for each group so far. Queen of Wands. So, oh, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so... The Ace of Swords, this is about truth and honesty and clarity, so I'm kind of seeing this as they want you to be honest with yourself. It seems to me like some of you guys, your intuition is already kind of nudging you in this direction. It's already kind of trying to give you this message, but maybe you're ignoring it, maybe you're not noticing it. They just want you to be honest with yourself. Honestly, reevaluate your priorities. Um, is this situation or this person, because for some of you I think it is a person, actually is, is your investment in it or them actually serving your highest good? And if it's not, you need to step away. Okay, guys. Um, become the queen of wands. Gender is irrelevant. Um... But the Queen of Wands is a an energetic, passionate person. That's the energy that she has. She's she's also very creative. Um, so some of you guys could be artists, but but some of you have not practiced your art in a quite a long time. And they're saying you need to start doing that again. Pick it pick it back up. Pick your Pick your guitar back up or pick your paints back up or whatever it is that you used to do. Your needlepoint. I don't know. Um, pick that shit back up. You know, <laughs> put your energy into something productive. Something that is actually, you know, going to be good for you. And step back a bit from the current thing that is at the forefront of your mind. Okay, guys. So, um, group number three, that is your message from your future self. I hope that this resonates with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this one wasn't, um, I mean, it's a positive message, but it wasn't quite as positive as the others. Um, but, you know what, uh, some people have a hard time following their own advice. Please don't be one of those people. Okay, um, so yeah, leave me a comment if you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts, um, and thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. Okay, and lastly, group four. Let's see what cards you have. What messages does your future self have for you? We have the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So, right away, I'm getting kind of a similar vibe to group two. Um, group two, it felt to me like, was going, was on, or I guess I should say is on, some kind of, you know, soul journey in this lifetime. Um, they're working towards elevating their consciousness and raising their awareness and that kind of thing. Um, and I feel like you guys are doing something very similar. I feel like you guys, a lot of you actually are even more intuitive than group two. It seems to me like a lot of you guys who picked this option are um, very powerful. Like, you could have, like, psychic abilities. You could be, some of you might be, like, mediums. Um, some of you could be light workers. A lot of empaths here, I'm feeling. Okay, guys? See, we also have, it is safe for you to love. It's interesting because these cards are coming out in a different order than the others, the other piles. Um, anyway, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This makes me think that, um, so the title of this card is not really what's standing out to me. What's standing out to me is the description, giving and receiving the highest energy of all. So this card makes me think that a lot of you guys, your purpose in this lifetime is to help other people in some capacity, especially with, you know, spiritual matters, okay? And you, some of you are already aware of this, some of you are not so much, 
Um, but your future self wants you to know that that this is your purpose in this lifetime. Like they've already figured it out. Now they want you to know so that you can start doing whatever it is you need to do. Okay. We have co-create. So, um, co-create. This card is, I mean, obviously it's about creation. Um, it's about manifestation. It's about, um, art. Okay. It's like, uh, creativity, that kind of thing. So, um, I think that a lot of you guys are potentially very powerful manifestors. Okay. You're creating your re reality, um, every, at every single moment, right? And it's all based on your thoughts. So, kind of similar to what I was talking about with group three, pay attention to what you're thinking about. Pay attention to the kind of thoughts that you're having because the things that you think about, you know, the things that you put your energy into are the things that you will receive, the, the kinds of things that you will receive back, okay? Um, law of attraction stuff, you know. Um, but again, it's like, you guys who picked this group are so powerful. I think if there's something that you are wanting to manifest, trying to manifest into your life, this card is saying you are going to be successful doing that, okay? So just don't give up on it. It's, it's coming, okay? It's coming. It might be taking a while. You might not be seeing any progress, but it is coming, okay? We also have soulmate card. Oh my gosh. So some of you are trying to manifest a soulmate. Some of you might even have a specific person that you are wanting back into your life. Um, if that's the case, I think that's this is a good sign that you're going to find success in that. Um, if it's not a soulmate that you're manifesting, then there is a, a, a soulmate that is coming in, okay, that you, I, since these are messages from your future self, I feel like you probably don't know this person yet, if this isn't what you're manifesting. For some of you, you do know this person. Um, others of you don't, okay. This card is also saying that you're going to find more soulmates over the course of your lifetime. Um, we all have soul families, right? So not, not all soulmates are going to be romantic partners. They could be anybody. Um, this is saying that you're going to find more of your people, okay? Um, so that's really something to look forward to. And we have meditation brings answers. What was I saying? You guys are very intuitive. You guys have, you guys are really special. Um, you have power. You guys have power. And your future self wants you to focus on improving your, those abilities that you have, okay? Um, let's see. Like I said, some of you are already, you know, actively doing these things. Some of you are already well aware, you know, of what's going on. Others of you are, you know, you might have an idea, but maybe you haven't started taking those steps to, you know, honing your abilities and tuning into your intuition, that kind of thing. Um, if that's the case, you need to get started on doing that. Um, get started on your life purpose, guys. This is it. This is it. This is why you're here, I think. Um, and they're saying, hold on, let me, let me listen here. For some of you, they're saying, get it together, stop being lazy, don't be scared, there's nothing to be scared of, just, just jump in, okay? You know, some of you guys have not yet met your spirit guides, if you haven't, you need to get in touch with them, and you can do that through meditation. There's, like, there's guided meditations here on YouTube that are like, find your, meet your spirit guides, blah, blah, blah. Um, but they, they can work. Um, I've, I've used them and they have worked for me, um, you know, way back when I was getting started with this stuff. Um, so give some of those a try and that's a really good way to connect with your spirit guides. Um, there's tons of other ways to do it too, but I think, I think that's 
the most effective way and probably maybe not the easiest way, but like it makes me feel like, you know, what's happening is legit. So whatever. Um, okay, let me pull out a couple of tarot cards and just see what they have to say. What other messages do we have for group four from their higher self? We have the full card. This is a new beginning. This is a brand new start of a new journey. This is like, what could possibly go wrong? But it's like, you know, a lot of times, like, when you say that, what could possibly go wrong? Something does inevitably go wrong. But with this card, it's kind of like, really, what could possibly go wrong? Like, nothing. Because spirit has your back, you guys. Um... What is this new beginning? I think you guys, even even those of you who are already on this path, I feel like you're going to have some sort of awakening at some point in the future. And it's going to kind of, it's going to kind of fuck you up. But like, in, in a good way for the most part. Um, yeah, the two of wands here, this is like a decision. Uh, I'm seeing this as like I feel like there's you're gonna come to a crossroads at some point and I don't know what your options are gonna be because this is general and so it's gonna be different for everybody but at some point in your lives you're gonna come to a, some sort of crossroads some of you might have like near-death experiences I just heard that please don't freak out that's not going to be for all of you, so don't, you know what, don't even worry about it. Um, anyway, you guys are going to have some event in your life, um, in your lives, where you're going to be presented with the choice to either continue, oh, what, what are you saying? Um, okay, hold on, let me, let me try to make sense of this. <laughs> continue living your life the way that you are now and the other option is going to be like taking a leap and really leveling up like stepping up your game like okay doing something completely outside of your comfort zone but something that is going to be relevant, you know, to this journey that you're on. Um, and it will be kind of like a new, like a new leg, a new, a new, um, phase of this trip that you're on here in this lifetime. Um, could have something to do with the soulmate. Could. Some of you guys might come into union with your divine counterparts, and that would be a pretty big deal. You know, that would be kind of, kind of life-changing. Um, also, the Six of Swords fell out, which this card is about reconciliation, so some of you guys do have divine counterparts floating around um, right now. Some of you know them, some of you maybe don't yet, if, but I think most of you do that this applies to, and so I think this is saying, like, there's going to be a union, there's going to be a coming together, and that's going to be a big deal. So, like, some of you guys... <laughs> Some of you guys could be, um, interesting. When this person, when, when this coming together happens, it could really shake things up in your life in, in different ways. And again, this is general, so it's going to be, it's going to manifest differently for each of you, but that's the overall energy that I'm getting here. Okay, guys, um... Yeah, group four, your future looks very exciting, and um, I'm excited for you. Okay, guys, you're on the right path right now. They want you to know that, and um, you, you're meant for so much more. Like, there's, I feel like you guys are going to have experiences that you maybe, maybe right now you can't even imagine, like, me doing that? No way. But it's going to happen, and you're going to be ready for it when it does, so, like, don't worry about it. Um, don't be scared, okay? All right, group four. 
that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and I hope that it resonates with you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I don't have anything else to say, so bye!